Lewis Henry Douglas was the oldest son of Frederick Douglas, and his first wife, Anna Marie Douglas. He was born in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Douglas was well educated as a boy, apprenticed in Rochester, New York, as a typesetter for his father's newspaper, the North Star, and Douglas Weekly. He joined the Union Army on March 25, 1863, only two months after the Emancipation Proclamation allowed African Americans to see combat in the Union Army. He fought for one of the first official African American units in the United States during the Civil War the famed 54th Massachusetts Infantry Regiment. Shortly after joining the Army, Douglas attained the rank of Sergeant Major, the highest rank a black man could reach. He took part in the Battle of James Island, the Battle of Ulasti, and the Second Battle of Fort Wagner. At the Second Battle of Fort Wagner, half of his regiment was killed, but this battle turned the public's attention towards the sacrifices made by African Americans in the war. Douglas addressed the bravery of the African American troops in a letter to his future wife, Helen Amelia Logan. My dear Amelia, I have been in two fights and am unhurt. I'm about to go into another, I believe, tonight. Our men fought well on both occasions. The last was desperate. We charged that terrible battery on Morris Island, known as Fort Wagoner. We were repulsed with a loss of 300 killed and wounded. I escaped unhurt from amidst that perfect hail of shot and shell. It was terrible. I need not particularize the papers will give a better than I have time to give. My thoughts are with you often. You are as dear as ever. Be good enough to remember it as I no doubt you will. As I said before we are on the eve of another fight and I am very busy and have just snatched a moment to write to you. I must necessarily be brief, should I fall in the next fight, killed or wounded, I hope to fall with my face to the foe. If I survive, I shall write you a long letter. The forest of your city is wounded, George Washington is missing, Jacob Carter missing, Chaz Reason wounded, Chaz Whiting, Chaz Creamer all wounded, the above are in hospital. This regiment was established its reputation as a fighting regiment, not a man flinched. Though it was a trying time, men fell all around me. A shell would explode and clear a space of 20 feet. Our men would close up again, but it was no use. We had to retreat. It was a very hazardous undertaking. How I got out of that fight alive, I cannot tell. But I am here, my dear girl. I hope again to see you. I must bid you farewell, should I be killed. Remember, if I die, I die in a good cause. I wish we had a hundred thousand colored troops. We would put an end to this war. Goodbye to all, write soon. Your own loving Lewis. Lewis Henry Douglas was an all-star in the Civil War, and after obtaining wounds in the Civil War, was given reaper penalties by the Grim Reaper and became a super soldier in the American Civil War.